Hey, hello, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now today I'm excited to share this delicious and healthy African delicacy. We're cooking the leaves of the black eyed pea, also known as osubi, egobe, or ebo here in Uganda, kunde in Kenya, and chimpapila in Zambia. Now these ones are smoother than peanut butter and believe me when I tell you that your taste buds will be like, oh Jesus, thank you. Now I know you are very good. <laughs> So here I have one bundle of black eyed pea leaves, one bundle of what we call otigo or mandrocolo. It can be substituted for okra or lady fingers and it's an optional ingredient. I have some peanut butter, some bicarbonate of soda, a beef stock cube, some chopped carrots, some chili powder, some peeled and chopped aubergines, and finally three cups of water. All right, so this is what the black eyed bean leaves look like. They appear in threes on each stalk. And since they are all that we want, we just want to go ahead and start plucking them off like this. Now this task is a little bit grueling and calls for a lot of patience, but it has to be done, right? Especially if you don't want to miss out on a superbly tasty and healthy and affordable leafy green in your diet. You want to set the black leaves aside in a large bowl and then it's time to work on this other leafy green in the same way. Now I don't know its name in English but it's got a slippery consistency when cooked and therefore it can be substituted for okra or lady fingers. Also it is an optional ingredient but I feel like it's what anoints the black eyed bean leaves if that makes any sense. <laughs> and most importantly if you are having any issues at all with bowel movement, then this is the leafy green for you. Next, you want to just go ahead and give your greens a really good wash. I usually do this in two or three changes of water until it's very clean and there's no soil at the bottom. All right, once your greens are nicely clean, you want to roughly chop and set them aside. And I like to use a colander, which I set over some kind of vessel to allow the extra water to simply drip off. Okay, next you want to add your water to a saucepan set of a medium high heat and bring it to the boil. At that point, you want to add first the baking soda, then your chopped greens, and finally your aubergines. Now, once that's done, you want to cook the combo gently for the next 12 to 15 minutes or thereabouts. And during that time, the mixture will boil over if you do not pay close attention. So you want to hang around the stove and stir the mixture quite frequently, okay? Now, after about eight minutes, I usually like to take some of the hot liquid and add it to my peanut butter and mix it up like so until it has a smooth consistency like this. All right, now it's time to go in with the rest of my ingredients, the carrots, the chili powder, the beef stock cube, and the peanut butter. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up bulunji and allow it to cook for about uh, three minutes. And as you can see, the stew looks delicious and it's quite uh, slippery and this means that your taste buds and your digestive tract are gonna love this. So at this point, I want to thank you so much for watching this episode and I hope you will be creating this healthy and delicious African delicacy in your kitchen and serve it up with your choice of sides. I thank you for liking and sharing the video and for subscribing to this channel. Do go ahead and watch any of the suggested videos on the screen right now. And until next time, go out there and be a vessel of love. Bye.